All right, this is Homesteader Ryan. We're gonna build a masonry stove today. We're doing the dry fit, which means there's gonna be no mortar in it. This just means that we're gonna be stacking all the pieces that we've precast. We just saw how the masonry stove, the Vortex masonry stove, is constructed in a time lapse. That was pretty sweet. Now I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. This is the burn chamber. There's a door here, and it's actually called a batch box. When the fire burns, the air comes out of the bottom and comes through the door right here. Burns inside the box, comes up through here, which is called the throat. There's another box that's constructed up here called a bell. When the smoke comes out, it dives down this section right here and continues underneath these baffles until it gets to the last baffle and then it comes up and exits out the chimney. Now the reason for that is that as it's traveling under these baffles, the hottest gases travel up in and stay up in the baffles. The coldest gases sink down to the bottom of the stove and gradually move away and drop the chimney. Because of that, the hottest gases remain in the stove and release all their heat and energy into the masonry, the, the brick and the concrete, where the coolest gases move and go out the chimney, making it one of the most efficient stoves.